What's going on, everybody? So, for a while now, I've been asked about the, uh, I guess you can call it the way where people are buying shares of baseball card or sports cards of memorabilia and how it works and everything. And I really wasn't going to get into it until I got an email today. And email came from Beckett, so it looks like Beckett is sponsoring this group called Collectible. Let me pull this up on the screen to show you guys the email. And if you guys are doing this at all, please uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments. So I'm just curious how it's working out. I mean, I, for one, will probably not get into this because uh, I'll go through it. But basically, once you enough people buy a share of card, they go buy it. And then you have to wait 90 days uh, from the day that it's purchased or the IPO before you can either cash out or trade it. So kind of weird. But this is the email I got here. Uh, that's the the name collectible. You can get the app and all that fun stuff there. You know, I just read over it. I mean, little as five dollars a share into a card. Talks about the percentages that people have gotten on their returns, and this explains a lot why you see a lot of the high value cards going for crazy amounts because these guys are changing what they're going after every so often, and you know the prices shoot up. And then somebody like me that would go out and sell it, I may not get as much because, you know, the people who wanted these cards already bought them up type deal. So that's how a lot of the prices are being, I guess you'd call it manipulated in a way to where you'll see a bunch of high sales and you'll see a big dip all of a sudden, you know, where things sell down. This is part of the reason why. So when you go through, you can look at it um, and see the website. I'll put the website in the link uh, or in the description if you guys want to check it out. Now, if you look, here's the big part highlighted. Daily initial public offerings, trading on our secondary market every weekday from 3 to 4 e Eastern. So you get one hour. Boy, I'm reading this. If I'm wrong and you guys are doing this, please square me away in the comments section because the way I'm reading this, I get one hour on weekdays. It's not a federal holiday to where I could sell or trade what I own. And the way it looks like is that if the card is to be sold outright, the majority rules. So kind of, kind of different, kind of different offhand. And you can see Steph Curry uh, cards were, you know, all in to buy out 30000 profit. All this stuff on. So, of course, they're going to highlight their big stuff onto it. So let me pull this down here real quick. So this is the website here, and I was going through it, looking at it and stuff. And again, I didn't sign up for it because I don't think it's something I want to do. But this here is their next job, Will Chamberlain, 63, Fleer Rookie, PSA 9. More likely they bought and they're waiting for it to come in because they physically have to have the cards from my understanding of this. And it, they got all the kit and caboodle with it and stuff. To where it is the Securities and Exchange Commission, all that stuff. So it's it's completely legal to do this. Just really different. I mean, never really thought about. It. You know, there's people I know out there that split cards all the time and stuff like that. Or three people will go in on a trade for a bigger card, trying to sell it, and then they, you know, go that whatever they percentages they put in and stuff. This just really gives it more of a broad spectrum of it to where. You can see where a lot of people are doing this. And here's the same stuff. You can't, trading begins 90 days after IPOs are fully funded, which means that that card, you know, everybody bought into and it's 100% done. Oh, kind of cool, but you never get to actually hold the card onto it. I guess if you're looking at this more as a stock investment type deal, I guess it's pretty good overall. I mean, I'm not sure offhand. Like I said, if you're doing this, let me know. Um, the other part, let me see here. This is where I was at big time on this fact page here. And it talks about the whole thing on to the here, what they're doing. The part that, let me see if I can find it here. This talks about why you should buy it and stuff because people can't afford $100,000 cards, blah, 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 and all that stuff onto it. And uh, this is where they say, all assets are fully insured and stored in best-of-class bank caliber vaults and state-of-the-art security monitoring and all that stuff. So, I mean, the card's safe if anything ever happens to it, which is always good because that would have been one of my key concerns because I know I don't keep my big stuff in my house. It's, you know, 
a 35 minute drive to this bank where I'd have to have an account to get these safety deposit boxes. And, you know, I really like the atmosphere I went at too because they're really cool with me when I go up there. They'll pull all my stuff onto a cart, wheel me into a room over there, you know. They got drinks and snacks and stuff in there. You bring your lunch. Pretty good place, but that's what I do with my big stuff. I don't keep it here. And if I do, it's not very long. And I think I only go up there like once, maybe twice a year, and that's just to update my stuff for insurance purposes. Uh, let's see here. This talks about the cost of buying or selling of the offerings. They do keep costs low as possible for users, sacrificing their high standards, all that stuff. It really doesn't talk about it. So, again, if you're part of this group or anything, let me know. Because I don't know how long it takes to get your money to you and all that other stuff onto it. But, I mean, I took probably about a good half hour looking over this stuff and reading it because they do memorabilia. Um, it's kind of different, but a lot of people have asked me about these. And, you know, I just never really did any real research into it. I heard a couple guys that I know that were looking at getting into it. I don't know if they ever did. Just something we don't really ever talk about. And, you know, maybe instead of people buying stocks, they do this stuff. I, I have no idea. But there, there's a lot of risks involved that talks about it because, you know, cars go up and down and all the time. And then you got to have, I believe it's, uh, I want to see if it says on to here. I, I had the question on here originally. No, I, I oh here it is. So oh, I just talks about the ninety day thing on to it. There was somebody if they want to sell the card out. Right? I remember reading it had to be like a majority role type deal that's invested in the card. It looks like there's there's a little bit of stuff too. I mean there there's a lot onto this. Um, do, how often is your portfolio updated? I mean there's a lot of good questions onto this, but I don't want to make this a super long video. I mean it's already over seven minutes onto it now. But if you're really interested in looking into this stuff, I will like I said put the link in the description below. Take a look at it. if you're already doing it. I'd like to hear you know. Uh, you know how you're doing into it and you know maybe shoot me an email too so we can get some correspondence because i'm kind of curious on to it you know to where if i decide to cash out put money in my bank is it going to take a week to get there or can i just have it sent to paypal type deal or venmo or whatever else is out there i mean i really didn't go through all of this stuff here because it's even talking about gift shares you can't do it that'd be kind of cool but, uh, I see there was another good one on here, but I, I can't find. There's just a lot of stuff in their fact section on to here. But, you know, if you ever, you know, how often are you going to earn a Mickey Mantle rookie or maybe now with a Gretzky, Opeachy rookie, graded 10 or 9? I mean, you never really have it physically in your hand. I understand that part of it all. But, you know, you still own a piece of the card to where, hey, you know, you might get into a card with guys that have been rolling in money, no one to flip and stuff, and make you a pretty penny, too, Why, whenever they want to sell it again. They might not know what they're doing. My thing is, if you're doing this stuff, um, the other question I have, you know how, like, stock markets have uh, brokers and stuff that you can deal with? Is there people out there now doing this, like, as a stockbroker or whatever you want to call it, agent? So they're like, hey, you need to get an issue, you need to sell this now, stuff like that there. But kind of curious on to it, but I figured I'd bring it up in the video, see what everybody thinks about it. Again, if you're doing it, leave some comments down in the comments section. Um, let me know if you're not doing it, what you think of this, too, as well. It's kind of a different approach and everything. I mean, it seems interesting to me. It's not like I'm doing the uh, NBA Top Shot where I'm you really know, buying packs of video cards or five-second videos or whatever it is. All right, everybody. Take care. Let me know in the comments. Talk to y'all later.